With all the new GPU releases in the past few weeks, it's time to take a look at the other side of your gaming build, the CPU. And AMD has released its new gaming slash workstation flagship, the 9950X 3D. But how does it compare to the 9800X 3D, its non-X 3D variant, and to the latest Intel chips? And this is a quick view of our AMD test system, but if you want to see the Intel one, that is available on our website. This video is going to primarily focus on gaming performance, so if you did want a breakdown of the application performance, look for the full review in the description. And when testing CPUs, I like starting at 4K, mainly because it showcases that even with an RTX 5090, there is not a lot of difference if you choose to play at this high resolution. We are still in the process of retesting all our CPUs with our 2025 benchmarks, but we can see with this that the Ryzen 9 9950X 3D comes in just a bit short of the Ryzen 7 9800X 3D, at least when it comes to gaming. It does beat out the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, with the 7950X 3D trailing the 7800X 3D by roughly the same margin as the 9950X 3D trails the 9800X 3D. All these options are a bit faster than the Core i9-14900K, with the latest Intel chip, the Core Ultra 9 285K, pairing up very closely with the Ryzen 5 9600X. Dropping down to 1440p does give the RTX 5090 a bit more breathing room, which causes these CPUs to spread a bit further apart, although the overall order remains basically the same. The fastest chip is still the Ryzen 7 9800X 3D, giving 3.8% extra performance over the Ryzen 9 9950X 3D. Those margins remain the same comparing the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D to the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D. And all these chips are still a bit faster than the Core i9-14900K, which is now only good for 93.8% of the performance of the 9950X 3D. Dropping down the resolution again to 1080 also doesn't really change up the charts, but the separation between the chips does continue, with the 9800X 3D now being 4.8% faster than their new 9950X 3D, the Core i9-14900K now only delivering 91.7% of its performance, while Intel's latest chip, the Core Ultra 9 285K, is only good for 88% of the 9950X 3D. This overall performance does hold true when looking at the minimum FPS as well, with the Ryzen 9 9950X 3D able to maintain 145 FPS at all times, which is not quite as high as the 9800X 3D, but it is enough to maintain a fluid FPS if you're gaming at a 144Hz monitor. While 720p is probably not the resolution that most gamers who are looking to upgrade their computers are going to be gaming at, it does give us a window into what these CPUs could do with a future faster GPU. And in that case, the 9800X 3D is still the best gaming chip, being 6.8% faster than the 9950X 3D. That does make the last gen 7950X 3D about 9% slower, and the non-X 3D 9950X being about 10% slower, though even that chip did edge out the Core i9-14900K, with the Core Ultra 9 285K coming in just ahead of the Ryzen 9 9900X. And converting that into frame rates, the 9950X 3D was good for 207 FPS, and really all these modern CPUs are able to deliver a very good gaming experience. So if you want the best gaming chip, you might as well stick with the 9800X 3D, but if you want the best application chip, that is going to be the 9950X 3D. What's maybe more notable is that contrary to when we tested the 7950X 3D, it is actually faster than its non-X 3D variant, the 9950X, in both applications and in gaming. The Core Ultra 9 285K does put up a bigger fight here, delivering 92.4% of the 9950X 3D's performance, with the gaming-focused 9800X 3D only delivering 78.2%. One of the biggest changes since last generation is that the 9950X 3D has the same power limits as the 9950X, which really helps it in application performance, which was a weakness of the 7950X 3D. Still, when maxed out, it only uses 203 watts, which is a fair bit less than the 235 of the Ultra 285K, 
and the 267 watts of the 14900K. Power consumption while gaming is another story, with the 9950X 3D topping the charts at 144 watts, even more than the 9950X, substantially more than the Ultra 9 285K, and basically double the power usage of the 9800X 3D, which did have better performance. That does leave the Ryzen 9 9950X 3D at the bottom of the efficiency charts, at least while gaming, in good company with the Core i9-14900K, but I guess that is the trade-off if you have so many extra cores. One bit of good news though is that it does control its temperatures when fully loaded, coming in at 77.5 degrees C, which is a fair bit better than the Intel chips and even the 9800X 3D, and compares pretty favorably to the lower power 7950X 3D. But how does it compare in terms of value? And when taking a look at application performance, where it performs the best, with an MSRP of $700, it also has the lowest value. The nearest Intel offering, the Core Ultra 9 285K, is a better deal at $600. It does have lower gaming performance and use more power, so there is a case to be made either way. If you were more focused on gaming performance, then the 9800X 3D would be a better option at $480, since it gives you better gaming performance, and even in applications, it is a better value. And if your focus was more on applications than the 9950X at $445, or even the 14900K at $445, would be relative no-brainers in terms of what you get. What you don't get with them though is the fastest desktop chip that you can get, at least in applications, as well as being one of the best options you can get in terms of gaming. If you need that, then your only option really is the 9950X 3D. But if you do lean one way or the other, then there's probably a better value option out there.